Uh, g'day everybody, Michael here from Tech and Tools and today I'm going to be replacing the clock spring in my 2005 Toyota Prado. Um, I have an airbag light um, on on the dash and I've had it for a while. So um, yeah, let's get in on it and see if it fixes it. Right, right. so turn the ignition on. I've got two problems at the moment. One of them is that, which I will fix at a later date, but this is what we're trying to And it's under here somewhere. So I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first thing you need to do is disconnect your batteries. So, and I say batteries, because a lot of full drives have your batteries so I'm gonna do the main starter battery and I'll also disconnect the secondary battery um, and best thing is to um, go inside pop the brakes probably wait about five five ten minutes and um, before you do this next section so you don't deploy an airbag and have that blow up in your face. These bits here should just pop out actually. It's a bit hard. Do you while you're holding your camera. There's one this side and there's one the other side. So I'll get back to you when I've done those. And what we need to do is get to and do that nut there, which is a Torx, Torx bar. And there's also one on the other side. Now you should be able to pull that out. You can see there. And you need to lift up these two tabs. I'll right, start with the negative first. Okay. And that should pop out. This is the airbag assembly, so be very careful with it. And this here also needs to come off, which I believe is the horn. You can put that aside. Next is these screws here. Before we take the steering wheel off. One. Two. Nope. There's another screw under there. I did not see. to center the steering wheel and undo these nuts so we'll need to pull this out undo this one here because that will come when you pull the steering wheel off that will come off so we have to undo that nut now okay this nut here is a 19 mil crack don't take it completely off yet get the steering wheel as straight as possible and give it a wiggle and you can take it off so you sort of crack the steering wheel and get it loose and then you can slowly thread everything through like that and that gives you access to your clock spring. Now, you'll obviously have to take these off, but there are, to get the clock spring off, there are four screws. I'm gonna cheat and use this. 
but at the same time you'll also have to disconnect these which I'll figure out in a minute so one A little bit small, so I'll swap to the smaller. Three. If you haven't got one of these, get one. They're amazing. And that comes off. And we have. I got down here. Don't want to click down there. And, oh God. I click down there. And there we go. Time to grab the new one and swap it over. Okay. This is the new one. This is the old one. The only thing we have to swap over is this part here. So you push the clip in, pop that out. Put that aside. Click that back in. Time to reinstall it. Set it back in place. Oh. I don't want to stay there. So I'll sit it back in place. I'll get one screw. And just get that started. I won't do these up all the way with this, I don't think. I think I'll just do it by hand at the end. Just to make sure. I don't cross thread them, strip them. Damn it, got to love it when you drop stuff. Ugh. Tiny little things. Just double check these by hand. Good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Lovely. Okay. So once you've got this on, you've got to plug these back in. It's the big one. There's it going. Goes in like that. One pops in like that. All right, they're secure. All right, time to pop this back through. If you do remember, this went there, this went into there, we'll pop the nut back on and do it back up. Just nip it up, it doesn't have to be too tight. Now the next part is popping the shards back on. So, that's the top. We'll do the bottom first. Now, hang on, I've got some 
she doing here? It needs to pop up here. I don't have a microphone system for my hands free kit. Screw back in. Steam was locked. Pop it back the other way. See that one there's not quite in. You can see, we can see that this bit here is not quite in properly. There we go, now it is. Oh, oh, clots. Right. So got that plugged in, that's tight. I'm just gotta put all this back together. So reverse order. We will put I think that's the horn I think. That back on. We will put oh see look at these little yellow tabs have gotta stay up. That back on, pop it down. That back on, I'll pop that down. That's in. Now this is a case of sitting them back in there. Beautiful. And reinstalling the torque screws. These the, the torque screws stay captured. So we'll tighten that side up by hand. Pop over to this side. So they, they stay captured. You can get it to focus. And this has to get sort of. Oh. Just do that up by hand. And then I'll tighten both of those. Caps on the side to reinstall. There's one. And we can see the other. Technically, we are done. So now we'll go back and we will we hook the batteries up um, and come back and see if the light's gone. Okay, okay. We have connected all the batteries back up, and 
Let's turn the light on. Let's see what happens. And there we go. Gone. So, technically that should be fixed. All right, thank you for watching me replace the clock spring on my 2005 Toyota Proto. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, like and subscribe. And until um, next time, take it easy.